So when we're using Microsoft Classroom, what does it actually look like for students who maybe don't have a Windows device? For example, they don't have a Microsoft Surface or th and or they don't have uh, the only device they have maybe is um, an iPad or an Android device. So to look at this, uh, look at a one OneNote class notebook uh, on their uh, iPad, what they're going to need to do is actually go to the App Store and install two apps. And those apps are OneDrive and OneNote. What you need to do first is go to OneDrive and log in. The student will need to log in with their particular account. So I'm going to just quickly put in a, the student account. And as you can see, um, it's I've flipped the orientation on this iPad. I'm going to go ahead and click on or tap on Go, and that's going to take me to the next screen. And I'll be prompted to enter my Office 365 password. Once the password is entered, sign in. And this will provide uh, students access to their resources. So if you've been watching this video series all along, you'll, you'll, you may remember some of these items, the Firefly, uh, the My VIP Paper, etc. So all of these are uh, resources that have been created um, as part of assignments or Microsoft Classroom. Now that I have a OneDrive account and I'm logged into that as a student, I'm just going to go back to my main screen and remember my goal here is not just to be able to access the resources on OneDrive but it's also to open up my OneNote class notebook and be able to to interact with the content that my teacher has prepared for me. I'm going to tap on sign in and the sign in I'm going to have to go through a similar process um, just as I, w I did it in OneDrive. Notice that it takes me to an Office 365 and I can enter the uh, password here. Once the password's been entered, um, I can go ahead and go in. It's going to uh, give me access. You can see I have TCA student 31. Um, and now I can actually see uh, all the different connected services. And because I, I actually connected my OneDrive first, it, it's going to bring that up. I'm going to just close that. And down in the bottom left-hand corner, um, I have the Open Notebook option. And the two notebooks that I have available to me include Period 1 English Notebook. So I'm going to open that document. And you can see that um, currently this document is read only. Um, but I still have access to all the videos and the audio. And I can play. Oh, couldn't play that. But um, I am able to play other embedded content. The world is becoming one. The challenges we face are diverse, but they concern us all. And so now I can just go in and, and um, look through some of the different areas that have, have been selected. Um, I can also go into my private space 
and see some of the different resources that are there. And as you can see, I'm able to interact with the content that's online. And um, so the question would be, if I were to go look at this as a uh, teacher, would I be able to see what additions have, have been added? And of course, I'm just using the, the touch screen that's on, on the iPad. So if you have a class set of iPads, as, as some folks have reported, that they have and they want to use it with um, OneNote, you're e able to easily do this. I'm still getting that read-only uh, button. I'm curious as to why that is. So I'll, we'll have to explore that a little bit more, but at least you can get an idea of what a one note notebook looks like a class notebook looks like on an iPad so it, it just occurred to me that the reason why it's read-only is that um, the parts that I was accessing previously were the collaboration space the content library which only the teacher has access to but once I go into the TCA uh, private space it's not read-only and so I, I have gone ahead and, and modified this and um, I can go ahead and type and, and do whatever. So once students are done working with a particular notebook, um, they are able to uh, sort of synchronize them and So that way the version that you have on your iPad will actually end up on the, uh, on the OneDrive and available. So let's take a look at that. Let me go ahead and turn off sharing on this iPad. And flip over to what this might look like on my screen. So here we are, we're looking at um, we're looking at our period one class. I can go in make it a little bit bigger here so I can actually see what's going on. And then uh, if I go into the class notebook on the web I can go to to that particular student student 31 here's the high that I typed in and the uh, character analysis and you can see that here's the high and the done so that were created on the iPad so just um, you can see that this is how a student could interact with their um, student notebook and once that's set up on an iPad then it's it's not that difficult to um, sign in and out for for both accounts um, on Android I suspect that you could use uh, the, the OneNote app um, and then uh, signing out if you ha if you have the capability of doing multiple users that might also be an option but hopefully this gives you an idea of what things look like from a student's perspective on a different device
thanks for watching and um, please be aware that you can find more resources online at ly.tca.org forward slash tceamie1. You can also uh, read the TCA Tech Notes blog at www.tca.org forward slash blog. And you can make contact with me on Twitter at M-G-U-H-L-I-N. Thanks and take care.